So belief in a lot of the revelations that we have in the scriptures requires faith. For example, if you want to believe that um, Jesus Christ came, for example, you have to believe that, um, like, there's a historical evidence for someone named Jesus Christ, but to believe that he was the Son of God requires a bit of faith, right? You, we can't go back and we can't see him perform miracles. We can't, and even if we could, there are lots of people who saw that and even didn't believe that you need a little bit of belief um, to believe in the revelations. And most revelations are like that. Most prophecies are like that. Um, prophecies of Jesus Christ's second coming require faith. Prophecies that, um, almost all prophecies require some sort of faith. But there are some prophecies that have been fulfilled and that um, don't require faith. So an example of this is Jeremiah in Jeremiah chapter 50 prophesies very clearly that Babylon is going to be destroyed, that um, it will be destroyed through war and then through drought and then no one will live there again forever. And we can go to where Babylon is now and you can see that it is a dry desert and that no one is living there. <laughs> and no one has lived there for, for many centuries. Um, that's a prophecy that doesn't require any faith to believe because you can go there and you can see it. It's a matter of historical fact. Similarly, 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 uh, there are several prophecies in the scriptures about Israel being gathered together again. Um, one rather clear one is in Isaiah chapter 11. It says that Israel is going to be gathered from all these different areas from the four quarters of the earth and restored to the lands of their in her inheritance. And that we can see was fulfilled um, after the second world war, world war, the establishment of the nation Israel. And there were a bunch of Jews that moved back to Israel. That's a prophecy that doesn't require any faith to believe. It's one that has been fulfilled and that everyone can see that it's been fulfilled and that that's not in dispute. Um, Similarly, for Latter-day Saints, Joseph Smith prophesied about lots of destructions that would come to the United States. And he specifically prophesied about the Civil War and about three decades before it happened, uh, about 30 years before it happened, and he was right. And that's not a prophecy that requires any faith. You can, it's a matter of historical fact that the Civil War happened and that the saints, the members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, they went out west and they were relatively unscathed by the Civil War, whereas the rest of the country was um, was uh, fundamentally um, well, largely destroyed and had lots of problems going on because of the Civil War. So, well, most revelations require faith, some do not. And yeah, mm -hmm. Hopefully you enjoyed a few of those examples of some that don't.